Hi guys, welcome back to our webinar series. I'm Riley Cook and I'm the Social Media Project Manager at Clutch Made. Today I'm joined by Kat, who is our assistant designer and she does a lot of our graphic design, branding and um, website work. Today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of brand identity and why it's really important in 2020 as well as getting your graphic design sorted. So I have three questions for you and I'm gonna go right into it. The first one is why is brand identity so important in 2020? Um, so this year, the brand trends, they are all about like reacting to our current world situation, right? Um, there has been a rise in the conscious, sustainable and also social movements. So I think nowadays, like more than ever, it's important to represent your brand values and what you stand for. And I think that's what branding is about. It's about communicating what, what are your statements, your values, and like showing who you are. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think I agree a lot as well in 2020, especially when things happen in the world, brands have to be a lot more responsive with, with what's going on because brands who aren't taking a stance or aren't showing their like empathy or their values towards other people and what's happening in the world, I think are getting left behind a little bit. And I think especially with social media and everything that's happening, brands have to be really responsive and they have to know their brand identity really clearly before they start developing their brand um, so that they can do that, I guess. Um, my second question is, how do you communicate brand through graphics and graphic design? Um, I think there are many ways of doing that. Um, you can use like illustrations, different typographies, videos. Um, you can explore different colors and also like their meanings. There are many ways of incorporating um, like graphics through your brand. Is it important for a brand, do you think, to have like a very clear set of guidelines or like a style guide to use Definitely. so that it's consistent, Definitely. right? Yeah. yeah, and that should yeah. be implemented through graphics, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, your brand is basically like the face of your company and your services. So it's very important to um, be consistent so your public will know who you are so it's like it's very important to have like uh, a defined like color palette or what you're going for what like makes your brand your brand like does that make sense yeah yeah no like um almost like a toolkit or like a recipe book for like what yeah. the brand should look like visually yeah it's very important like to have a defined brand guideline to follow yeah, awesome. My last question for you is, what are some tips you'd give to designers or emerging designers for branding and graphic design if they have zero experience? So should they go to someone? Should they do it themselves? Where should they find the resources? Are there any like tools or anything that you use or ways that you like develop the skills of branding and graphic design? Uh, I mean, if you can, it's very like nice to um, ask for a professional to do it. But if you can't, like, you can like slowly build your brand. Like, you can do mood boards. You can like um, think your about your statements and things that you want to incorporate and show to the people. Because, like I said before, like um, the branding is your the face of your brand. So like the face of your company. So I think like it's good to go to professional and maybe have some counseling and stuff. But if you can't do that, you can slowly like do it yourself. Yeah. And are there any like free tools that you know of or like ways that helped you like videos or tutorials or like online platforms or anything that helped you develop those skills? If someone, for example, doesn't have you know, the Adobe Creative Suite or doesn't have any experience with design? Um, I mean, most of the tools I personally use are paid, but you can use like um, social platforms like Pinterest. Pinterest helps many people like um, doing their brand with boards and stuff. There is also Canva, who is a great uh, website to build. Uh, graphic stuff mm -hmm. but as I said before like it's good to have a professional do that 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I think um, those tools are really great, especially Canva as well for helping people, you know, if they just want to do like a really basic poster, they can just pull in their logo, pull in their color scheme, pull in their typography, and it's basically like already designed for them. So I think that's some awesome awesome tips. Yeah, also I think it's great like to explore what's already been used. Like, so there are many websites like Behance and, mm, yeah. and also, what's the name of it? I forgot. But like those, of those portfolio websites, they're very good to like search, research for um, inspiration to what you're going for. Yeah, awesome. That was a very productive chat for anyone who wants to learn more about branding and graphics and brand identity. I think especially now it's really, really important and it's something we need to be talking about more on social media. So thank you, Kat, so much for joining us today. Um, Everyone can stay tuned for our next webinar, episode four, which will be with Laura DiTolo next week. Thank you, Kat. Thank you.